I received the video, uh, 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 Serge, I received the video, and of course it was showing the mother is dead. I think I think somebody somebody hit hit her on the head, mm -hmm. and mother is dead, and the baby was there, and baby find the breast of the mother. I'm sucking the one. I was absolutely, absolutely, I, I, I just gone. My heart was bleeding for I, tears. I've come. I said, and nobody nobody was taking. They were looking. They were looking at her, and they were running. The shock. people was running. Yeah. People they they couldn't because they were saving themselves. And I said, there's a baby. The mother is dead, standing there, and and the old breast was open. Everything, and and of course, the baby. And, and, and it's, it, is, it is not humanity. We have to help this. We have to, these poor, uh, poor people, we have to help them. We have to save them, save them for these, of course, uh, uh, Myanmar, for the, uh, um, the army of the army of mm -hmm. the Burma. And of course, uh, and of course, uh, we have we have to shelter them. We have to uh, we have to give them food, give them, clean them as our, they are our brothers and sisters. And inshallah, of course, Allah subhanahu wa taala will question us. You believe me, Allah subhanahu wa taala will question this is, us. This is an important point, brothers and sisters, because we're watching this right now. Whatever we're doing, we should stop what we're doing and really take heed and listen to what we're hearing here from Sheikh and from, uh, from Haroon from Muslim Charity, because this is a, a humanitarian crisis which is very uh, specific to the Muslims. <clears throat> no country's really doing much. Even the UN is kind of procrastinating, saying, well, what should we do? We know it's a genocide, it's a, it's a humanitarian crisis, but what should we do? And they're taking time. While they're taking time, uh, people are dying. Either they're being murdered or they're dying from... A disease or from starvation. Many are trekking 60, 70, 80 kilometers just to get to safety. They're having their houses burnt to the ground. Families, uh, mothers and fathers are being murdered. Children are watching their loved ones dying. They don't know what to do. They're so young. They're in trauma. They're, some of them are so young that they are making the journey by themselves. They're reaching the camp and, and they're lost. They don't know what to do next because they've lost their mother and father. And these are children from the age of four, five, six onwards. It, it's just, it, words mm. cannot describe Absolutely. what they must be going through. We can't begin to imagine what it must be like to be in the situation that they have been placed in. It seems Allah must love them, must love them so much because he's testing them so harshly. But at the same time, we should be worried because what is our test? If it's not picking up the phone and donating and trying to ease <clears throat> the, the pain and the suffering of our brothers and sisters, then what are we supposed, what are we going to do? What These people, the, the, the 500,000 people that have just come in in the last few weeks, they haven't thought about Eid, they haven't thought about presents, they haven't thought about buying clothes and even doing Salah. You know, the Eid Salah that, you know, is so beautiful and so precious to us where we of go course. and see all our friends and family. You know, twice a year we sometimes see these guys. So even they didn't have a chance to do that. In fact, they had violence inflicted on them. Subhan they had Allah, rape Subhan and genocide Allah. inflicted on them. You know, I've met children with lacerations, with burn marks. The, the, these are things that, you know, we don't need to read anymore. Subhan we don't need to see on WhatsApp videos that have been shared and thinking, are these genuine or not? Maybe someone just made a fake video. These are real, subhanAllah. We can see the villages burning on top of the hill. Sheikh, we saw the villages, they were still burning. Know, you can see the black smoke coming up. And when you go very, very close to the border, because Bangladesh has a border Allah, with Allah. Burma that is so close. When you go so close, you can actually see the treetops burnt. SubhanAllah, you can see the treetops burn. This is not something uh, that has happened in the history books. Like we're saying, this is happening in our time. Our seen it. These are al 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 hasanat yathabna sayyat. That means all the good things take bad things away. And this is the charity. The giving the charity is one of the best ways they take all your calamity, all your difficulty away. Give it for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the disease gets us. This is a kind of insurance. You know, when you get a car insurance, you, you, you get it not because you want an accident. You get it in case you have an accident. And this is the money which you give. Give inshallah, it stays in case you want to take any calamity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take you the way. Uh, the Prophet when he was leaving Mecca to go to Medina, he was fleeing persecution. You know, and he went to Medina, subhanAllah, and the Ansar, 
you know, open their arms. And, subhan- and that's what we're Absolutely. asking you to do tonight, subhanAllah, be like the Ansar. We, we, we don't tell them, of course, give half. When, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when each one give half of his, each, each brother for his Ansar, give half of his house, half of his money, half of his shop. We don't say give you half of his shop. Mm. We don't give you uh, half of his house. We mm. don't give half of his, we say, we say give, give a little bit, little bit today, little bit tomorrow, little bit five. Give, give many time in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, many time. Wake up before waking you up. Give before the time which you say, Oh Allah, can you just send me back? Is in the Holy Quran. Can you send me back to do Amal Salah? This is Amal Salah. He says, No, if I send you back, you don't do it again. Just do it, my brother. Do it, Allah subhanahu Don't take my advice. Take advice from the Holy Quran. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He give you the our creator, our beloved, our top creator. I don't know what to say. Mm. Uh, he give, he give all advice to us. Please give, please give for the sake of Allah. Please, hey Allah, so give to me and I give you for everything. Give it to Allah. Don't give it to me. I give it to Allah for them. Allah doesn't take it, don't send it up and down. Just give it to the people. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Assalamu alaikum uh, sister, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm Sarah from West London. Sarah, mashallah. How are you doing, sister? Yeah, alhamdulillah. Um, mm-hmm. I, I want to say I donated £50 pounds towards oh, where most needed. Allahu Akbar. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, and can you please make the one for my mum? Um, she has a, a, a medical problem with her eye. So, inshallah, she's going to be getting treatment. Can you make the one that Allah preserves her eyesight? I mean, we will do that, my sister. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see to all your needs as your, my, my dear sister yourself. Amen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make, give the shafa. Inshallah, give the shafa to your mother. Any, any difficulties, any illness, any problem uh, inside and outside. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take all the diseases, all the calamities, all the illness out of your whole your house and all your family and and bring it bring all the happiness Amen. all the smile long life wealth health and inshallah when when all of you you gone like a bunch of flower allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put you in your paradise and inshallah yourself my sister allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resurrect you with the Amen. Mu'minin, aisha radiallahu anha she, she she's my mother and your mother because she's umul mu'minin Amen. Amen. Sister Jazakallah, thank you so much. May Allah bless you abundantly and shake it a beautiful dua. Yes. I can't yes. top it. Was just say, I mean. But before you go, can you give us a big takbir? Uh, takbir. Allah Akbar. Thank you, brothers. Good luck. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Beautiful, wonderful. Earlier, there was a brother uh, who had just a little shop, mm. yes. and uh, he, he all he had was like about five. Uh, bottles of water uh, and and some biscuits. That's all he had. That's all he was selling. That's all he could afford. And subhanAllah, when he saw saw us come uh, and he knew that obviously we're we're from abroad and we've come to help the Rohingya, subhanAllah, he took the five waters, he took the four biscuits that he had, he said, this is yours as a gift. Please drink it. Please. And we were like, this this, this is like, you know, a shopkeeper just emptying his whole shop and giving it and donating it to us. And we were just completely bowled over that this is everything the brother has. This is something that he's doing as an enterprise to feed his family, whatever he can do. And subhanAllah, that's why I wanted to just convey that as a message of generosity. Because the brother, whatever, for whatever feeling he thought that we were going to have, without knowing us, he knew that we were doing something. We're here for a purpose. Whatever it was, he was here to help the Rohingya. SubhanAllah. And the generosity from, and the brother just wouldn't, he wouldn't have it. Even though we secretly then gave uh, one uh, another Rohingya uh, some money to then give it to him secretly, because mm. he, he just wouldn't have it. He wasn't accepting it. You're our guest, and you've come to help so us. Mate, but that's the generosity spirit, and that's what is so beautiful about Adin is that you know the, you know even with um, what's been happening Rohingya, you have people in Palestine that have been raising money. So well, probably the most oppressed course, people as well, raising money for Syria, donating to the, our brothers and sisters uh, in Myanmar. It's incredible. That's the generous spirit because they understand they're doing it to please Allah. Yes, and Allah course. is going to increase them. 
Absolutely. their wealth. If they do, if Allah doesn't reward us now, he'll reward us next in the next life. And we should always be gearing us towards the next life is what's important. It's not this one. Uh, we do our best to please Allah. We, we um, try and maximize our and, effort. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Sadaqa, you give me Sadaqa, never decrease, yeah. never decrease your uh, your wealth. Yeah. Therefore, that means from this pocket, you take it and put it yeah. in this pocket. Yeah. Plus, uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has so much give you. Therefore, mm -hmm. what we need to do, we, take, we need to take this opportunity. Myself, yourself, and everybody take this opportunity and for the sake of Allah say, Oh Allah, you give me a hundred thousand, I give you a thousand for you. And mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the angels, mm. Look, I give him, I give him, you know, mm. and, and the man is always miser. But he give for me and tell the angels, give them. Give them. You believe me. And the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, pour all the, all everything they want. Happiness, mercy, everything of Allah to, to this, Amazing. to this person. Sure. And this person feel, no matter what you got, feel so fresh. Mm -hmm. Feel whole, he's got a whole world. Maybe he hasn't got that much. Because inside is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because he does what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala This is a great reminder as well because the sadaqah is a burhan. It's a proof of, of your iman, your belief, Absolutely. your faith. Yes. Sadaq Allah azim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the truth. You give one, he gives 700 in, and, and in this world. He will give you in this world, my brother. Yeah. It's not other one. Other one give you bakhir hisa. Mm. And Omar said, I give, I give for, for sake of Allah. Mm. I give, I give. These, these were the people, you know, they were rich. And he said, I don't want richness. I've got the richness in the heart. Mm. And I am, I am Sahaba and I am a family of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What I want more. Mm. Therefore, what they were doing. This is important. Mm. If, you, if you accumulate, accumulate, accumulate money. I came and suddenly it's like a big, it looks like a, I put a, 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 a hundred, a, a ton of gold in your back mm. and I say carry it. Mm. It's gold. You love it. But it's not going to help look, you. It's going to help you. You're going to get tired and, and drop yeah. it. Yeah.